sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girls. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born. Hello. What do you want? Oh, it's over there. You said I could borrow it. You weren't using it. Don't get mad at me. <sighs> what do you mean, why am I angry? Did you see how it looks outside? It's all sunny and everyone's happy and ugh, it's gross. I just want to be enjoying the gloomy, dark, rainy, sloppy, wet, outdoor season. I don't like this sunny stuff. You know that. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, you want to stand up to a bully? Have you even seen yourself? Uh, I can do it for you. No, no, no. Or I can do it for you. There's no way you're gonna take down a bully. You dress like... Like you're frolicking in a field every day. Have you seen this? Have you seen this denim? It's tough. Yeah. Oh, you want me to teach you... How to be tough? What's in it for me? <gasps> okay. I like how that sounds. Do I get all the allowance? For two weeks? Okay, you got a deal. Where do we start with you? I don't know. That's gonna be tough. Okay, well, first of all, you can't wear whatever you're wearing right now. You gotta wear something like black or red, like a dark red or like a, a denim or like a leather jacket. You know, something that that tells that bully, um, you mean business, you know? I guess you can pick something out of my closet or whatever, but you have to have it back by next week because I can't live without all my leather and black stuff, you know? So, change your dang outfit. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Um, what's another good thing? Well, your hair. Do you see? Do you see how big my hair is? It's kind of pointy. Like, um, like some sort of spiny creature. Yeah, yours is just kind of flat on your head. That's not very intimidating. It kind of looks like you're a wet dog. Yeah. So, um, if you want, I can mess up your hair a little bit right now. Make it look a little spiky, a little weird. Bullies don't like that kind of stuff. No. Okay. Just kind of... You, know, you gotta kind of just get in there and not be afraid of just getting spiky. Like, wow, your hair is really flat. I'm sorry to tell you. Hmm. Okay, well, I know that this isn't um, gel, but we could put some shaving foam in your hair and maybe it'll kind of stick out a little bit. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Um, I think it's going to smell a little. Oh well.
Oh no, I got it all over the rug. Ew, it smells like man. You know, everyone says men and boys are really tough. I think they're really just scared. And I think those are two very different things, so. You're looking spiky, all weird and disheveled. That's how we like it. Gotta put some in mine too. Okay. You look like a porcupine. And you know what? Porcupines are scary because they can poke you in the dang eye. Yeah. Okay. So, now that you've got your little spiky hair, and we'll figure out your outfit later, you kind of got your appearance kind of kind of set, you know what I mean? Like, you, you could walk up to the bully, and they would just kind of immediately be like, oh, that person has, has something to tell me, and I'm going to listen to him. Yeah. So, uh, what can we do? besides looks to help you out. Wait, there's actually another thing that you can do. So you know how like in movies people have like toothpicks hanging out of their mouth and I feel like that kind of makes them look a little tough. Well, I don't know what this is and it looks really big but I feel like if you just kind of kind of Maybe had it hanging out of your mouth when you walked up to the bully. Yeah, maybe that was a bad idea. I don't really know what these are used for, but they're kind of pointy, so I thought they were scary. Okay, well, never mind then. Never mind. We're, tr we're trying here. Oh, but I do have one thing that will actually work. Now, we're obviously too young to, like, smoke or do any drugs or whatever those people do, but if you have a lighter, it kind of looks like you're gonna do some drugs or smoke something, so maybe they'll be like, wow, they're a, they're scary, a, a scary adult kind of, you know, I don't know. So this is a red lighter that you can use, and you can just go up to them and be like, you know, yeah, just don't get it too close to your, your hair, because it's kind of flammable now that we put the shaving cream in it, okay, yeah, but just go up to them and you could maybe do it like one or two or maybe three times just to, to let them know that you're like not messing around and that this is like a is fire that could hurt them you know oh no okay maybe just like wave it around a little bit or something but i'm gonna give this one to you okay okay just be careful please <sighs> What else can we do, though? <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is a good idea. So, whenever I want to look real tough, like, really tough, like, immediately, and I don't want to get, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, get all, um, like, I don't want to have to think about it. I'll just take a, a handful of wasabi peas. Have you ever had those? No, of course not, because you're a baby, but... Okay. So I have these wasabi peas, and they kind of make your, your nose tickle in a bad way, but... But, when you take them, they make you kind of make a weird face and kind of get all agitated. So... What you do... You take a few of oh, I'm sorry. You take a few of them and you just
up like ksh, yeah okay you try it to me yeah okay yeah like that all right i'm gonna do it a couple more times just so you really understand and stuff. 